Now fighting for his life. Yapo Mao and his wife came here to this country in November 2018. He came with his father, he came with his brother. They lived in one small apartment which was burned down by a fire and then they relocated to Harlem. During the pandemic, he lost his job as a dishwasher. But he didn't give up. He wanted to pay rent, so he was out here collecting cans to make his $1,000 a month rent for his family. Thanks to our advocates and their efforts, we were able to raise close to $400,000 in one day. Yeah. And we're going to get to a million by tomorrow, I promise you that. Our community is hurting. Every violent, viral attack is traumatic for all of us and changes how we go about our lives. Our elders feel like they're prey. They're scared to take public transportation, go to the grocery store, or even visit family. It has to stop. Who will bring those who perpetrate these dehumanizing attacks to justice and do all that we can to support victims and their families? We are a strong, resilient community who will turn our pain into power. Now, there were system failures up and down the line, as the assembly member said, before these men's lives converged on this very block. We failed Yao Pen Ma. He was collecting cans to make rent because the system would not support him when he got laid off from his job as a dishwasher. No unemployment checks for Yao, no public benefits. We failed Jared Powell and the black and brown communities. Years of underfunding of public housing, education, social services, and patalyzing poverty led to an attacker completely disconnected from his humanity.